on Channel 3 and streaming on WFSB+. This is Eyewitness News. Finally, it's monthly test time, and I'm at it, and I added Connecticut's,
Let me just show you this. What? Station ID, they're going to away the SBA in just a minute. We broadcast at a frequency of 162.4. Look at our activation. Heat advisor, you're a me. Now we're in. Now we're in the heat advisory. They're going to do, I 
Mike, and that's VA for Berkshire. Hmm. Why did I not activate it yet? And apparently, it apparently includes me, but why not? It's not activated. So I think they're going to issue a separate watch for me. I think they're going to issue a separate watch for me. And also, the DHA is activated. If I may just have you real quick about this severe from this one watch that just been issued. Um if I just wanna see something real quick on Wow This watch includes my area, but you didn't even activate it for it, hmm. Caught 
maybe gonna be eating a bit more to be on one. Would be two. Empty. Yes, come on, so I think he's going to be any second now. Let's see. Fresh from local farms and everything else you need to go home. We got a severe thunderstorm warning for winter, winter, winter! Did not pull something else. Now you understand why I want to come in here? Alright. Alright, let me just say this. Picture! The National Weather Service has issued a 
National Weather Service in Boston has issued a system of thunderstorm warning for northwestern Hampshire County in western Massachusetts, northwestern Franklin County in western Massachusetts, until 6.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So we have Photoshop warning for Franklin in Hampshire. Hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Boston? It is for Boston! And there was only two marine locations under this? Okay. I'm going to be ready shortly. I have to get my get my charger, blah blah blah, blah stuff. And then Time. Time to wait for a bit. So have a good.
and they just literally pick up channel six on the Albany. So I have to get them. We got some storms to do, so get another award for Badminton and Winda. Okay, you stay right here. I'll be right back. Okay. You're listening to me. I am listening to you. Boston has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Michigan. 
Worcester County in central Massachusetts, central Hampshire County in western Massachusetts, northwestern Middlesex County in northeastern Massachusetts, eastern Franklin County in western Massachusetts, until 8.15 p.m. Eastern Flight Time. At 7.21 p.m. Eastern Flight Time, Central Thunderstorm is moving along the line, standing from the way to New Wendell to Wheeling, moving east of 45 miles per hour. Hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Lemonster, Fitzburg, Marlborough, Amherst, Greenfield, Orange, Deerfield, Gardner, Hudson, Holden, Northborough, Clinton, Ottawa, Pepperell, Groton, Wichenden, Lumenburg, Townsend, Littleton, and Montague. Now for the... Thunderstorm warning for Central Berkshire. Central Berkshire. Eastern Daylight. Five miles per hour. You're talking about the one on the corner. Yes. Damage to the vehicles is expected. Damage to the roof, siding, the trees.
Brussels. about to go off. As you can tell, tornado warning. Look at that. Shut 
the door. Oh, this was with the WHRS? That's weird. That's it! You guys don't see it on here, but... If you go to channel... You know what? I should turn it tune it into channel nine. I don't want you to turn it off. It's not into a CNCT. Um, this is a dangerous tour. What? Sorry. Change it to channel nine so that we can see the tornado warning. was so close that we were not under a tornado warning. Would you just believe that? If a tornado... If a tornado won't even hit you. Astro Pace, this one is moving off to the east at 55. And this is going about as fast, a little bit slower as you might. It's not a crowd as high. We do have this going on until 8.30. Like I said, this is coming in the midst of thunderstorms. We can see that on our ESP live Doppler radar. And the main areas that are going to be affected both right in where that lightning is the most thick. We can see that it's centered right around Amherst areas just northeast of that. And we are going to be, uh, we are expecting winds above 85 miles an hour. And this is going to be going on until 8.30 p.m. Other areas that could be affected, Shoots Ferry and Pelham, other areas around there. Now, this great thunderstorm is also going to go on until 8.45 this evening. So we have that combination of thunderstorms and tornado, and tornado warning as well. If you are outside, you need to seek shelter immediately. Boston had issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Essex County in northeastern Massachusetts. The central region of 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 the of Franklin County, again, right near that Shootsbury area, also Pelham being a factor. We're going to be seeing this throughout 8.30 to this point, and we can expect uh, potentially damaging winds and funnel clouds.
profile. So if you do see this or if you're hearing this now, you need to be you're seeking shelter immediately. Do not go anywhere. If you are outside at the moment, make sure you are not out exposed to the elements. If you can get to any shelters, you need to do that immediately. If you if you cannot do that, make sure you find you crawl under a car if you are outside and crawl under a shelter immediately. Now we make are sure experiencing under a car. Uh, in the middle of the but what's more, what? there's TB38. Better. Tornado warning. This is. I'm gonna have to stay on here until I. Thirty. Gusts up to twenty miles an hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain fifty percent. Wednesday night mostly cloudy. And thunderstorms until midnight. Then a chance of showers after midnight. To 20 miles an hour until midnight. Chance of rain 50%. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. crossing it's right over the Quabbin Reservoir as we speak. Part of a bigger cluster of storms here that again is across uh, the Athol area up toward Winchenden as well. There's a severe thunderstorm warning on it. Farther to the east we have a warning that it's been issued until 845. This is another cluster of storms that has some strong wind. Uh, there's, uh, this seems a little bit more garden variety to me to be honest. This storm that's coming through. Uh, let's take a closer look at the wind speeds here. Quick second, I'm uh, heating up the computer a little too much here. Sometimes it takes a second to catch up. This one doesn't show, remember those colors that we just saw in western Massachusetts? Uh, you look here in the Lawrence and Lowell area and you're not seeing much of anything. So I don't think that that storm is producing nearly the same type of 
uh, strong winds is what we're seeing farther off to the west. But we are seeing some heavy rainfall here, no question about it, some thunder, some lightning. If you have outdoor sports and the kids are still out in the fields, it uh, might be time to start clearing some of those fields there. Same story as you head farther into southeastern portions of uh, New Hampshire. We've got the heavy rain, the thunder and lightning from Hooksett down 93 through Manchester, down toward Derry. The heavy rain is just arriving in town there and then heading over toward Raymond area. And there is a severe thunderstorm warning. Whether or not the winds are around 60 miles per hour, that might be questionable, but they could still be damaging winds at this point for that portion of the line. And then we have the bigger line farther off toward the west. And I do see that they just dropped that tornado warning. So that warning has just come down, the storm that is coming across the Quabbin Reservoir. You do notice that we do still have the severe thunderstorm warning that's in place there across uh, Western Worcester County, and there's good reason for that. There is still some really strong wind. So while the warning is down in terms of the tornado, this is some really intense wind here. And I'll put it into motion a little bit so you get a sense for where that's headed. That's headed over toward Harbor and then over toward Barry after that. So these are a couple of towns where you're about to get some intense wind that could be damaging, knocking down some trees and some power lines. So now that the warning is down, I don't want to completely let your guard down. This is some pretty strong wind that has a history of producing damage. So this is still a good time to head inside and stay inside until that thunderstorm passes. But the good news at the moment is that the tornado warning has been expired. So we're going to get you back to some regular news coverage for a while here. I'm going to have to drink of water. And if any more warnings are passed along, we will definitely let you know immediately if anything else is issued. We'll see you back with a full forecast in just a little while. Courtney? Eric, thank you. That is our wonderful chief. A reason to stay with us here on TV38. We will keep you posted throughout the night, and we will be right back. I think this is from Boston! Not a Boston one.
National Weather Service in Boston has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Wyndham County in northern Connecticut, Central Towin County in northern Connecticut, East Central Hartford County in northern Connecticut, until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over East Hartford, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Hartford, Manchester, East Hartford, Glastonbury, Vernon, Windsor, Weathersfield, Mansfield, South Windsor, Wyndham, Plainfield, Rocky Hill, Willimantic, Killingly, Collin, Coventry, Hebron, Putnam, Thompson, and Brooklyn. Double header. Double header. In eastern Massachusetts, Suffolk County in eastern Massachusetts. A double header.